What's up, my bros? Uh, hopefully the sound is better. We got a new microphone, courtesy of the people at Blue. Thank you. Um, I hope this sounds better, honestly. I don't really know yet, so we'll see what's going on. But uh, Yeah, I think uh, I want to do a couple hangs, but I have things today, so I have to leave in like a half hour to an hour. So maybe, you know, I'll have to go do that stuff, and then I'll come back and we can hang out some more. I wanted to play Resident Evil 7 today. That's a scary game. <laughs> and I love that shit. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, good. Alright, Chan's is reassuring me that it sounds really good. 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 This is how it should sound. <clears throat> Speak louder. Really? I can just turn the mic up, honestly. Just crank it. Hey, what's up? What's up, my guy? Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to have time to do a game right now. So we'll just hang out for a little bit, but... I want to play a game later. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, we're in Nashville today. Oh, I didn't change that. I had to go to Nightbot, huh? Gotta do that, dude. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can put some gain on this mic. Hey! Hello! Is that better? Y'all can hear me? Let's see. I just don't want it to bust into the red. That's gonna be bad. Even the yellow is bad. I'm just testing the levels. Sick. Okay. Well, let's turn it up. Turn it up a bit, dude. Okay. Isn't that how you spell that? I'm so bad at this, you guys. All right, that looks right. I think that's I think that's right. Yeah, if you put exclamation point show day, it should tell you where we're playing. But yeah, we're in Nashville. I can just tell you right now. Um, <clears throat> yo, what's up? How am I? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How are you? Have I had my morning coffee? I didn't have coffee today. <clears throat> you can hear maybe I should have had some, some hot something because, uh, I got a lot of phlegm to work through. I don't know how that happened. We had a great day though yesterday. Hung out. Nice little day off in Nashville. I love hanging out here, man. It's too fun. So much fun here. Welcome, welcome. I'm feeling much better, yeah. I'm not sick anymore. Uh, and I think yesterday was my last little residual dryness. Dude, that sucks, man. It really is a bummer. It just bums me out so bad. Um, a soda. Yeah. So, hello, welcome. If it's your first time. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> what up, bro? What up, Jay? <laughs> Dude, I love this lo-fi beat uh, playlist on Spotify. I mean, <clears throat> when you go back and watch the stream, it probably will be muted because I still haven't gotten a list of songs that are okay to play. So uh, until that happens. 
My wife got me this Canada Goose jacket. Oh my God. It's so comfy, you guys. This thing is dope, dude. Look at this thing. Look at this. It's legit. It's got like a wire in the hood so you can shape it any way. Dude, it's so comfy. It just gets a really warm really fast. It is insane how fast the messages go. I know. Again, I apologize. I haven't figured out like the full mod situation, so. I, I don't know if it'll happen on tour. Uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, I'm trying to read your guys' comments, but it's going by so fast. Um. <laughs> Please come to Chile. Yeah, I'd love to. I've only been there once. Played a show in Santiago, like, what was that, six years ago? Seven years ago? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I got a lot of phlegm still today. I don't know what's going on. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. The show's gonna be great. Um, if you feel so down lately, well, don't. Don't feel down. You're hanging out with us. Come hang, my bro. Yeah, I need to get a haircut today. Uh, I think there's someone here who's trimming hair, and uh, I just it just gets like really puffy on the sides, so I want to like take down some of that. You know, that's it. I don't even know if I'll cut the top. We'll see what happens. Tequila for the throat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we will do the pre-show shot, as is tradition. Just dipping his hands in the butterscotch pudding. <laughs> hey, I love you too. Welcome. Drink hot stuff. Yeah, I probably should make a tea at some point. I'm okay. Wow, this chat goes by fast. It sucks, dude. Freaking sucks, bro. Um, Resident Evil 7 is such a scary game, man. Like, they walk slow, but it, that almost makes it scarier, you know? Tequila for the pre-show shot. Yes, I do. We all do. Yes. Tequila. It's the party drink, you know? We tried uh, whiskey a couple times, and I was, like, more slothful and just grumpy during the show. <laughs> Whiskey's like a chilling thing. Like, if I'm sipping bourbon, I want to be just chilling. <clears throat> I don't want to be amped up and running on the stage. It just, like, makes me want to fight people. You tried Fortnite on PC, you were terrible? Oh, really? Hey, I feel that. I'm still terrible. I've been playing it now for almost four months on PC. That's kind of crazy. On and off for about uh, three, three months, three and a half months. That's pretty wild. Pretty wild, dudes. for being grumpy, huh? With Don Julio, that's a good tequila. I think my favorite is either Clase Azul or Milagro. Also, Casa Amigos is just like our go-to. I think that's what we drink the most. It's so good. And I didn't know for the longest time while I was drinking it that it's George Clooney's tequila company. What? It's kind of crazy. Doesn't Justin Timberlake have a tequila? I forget the name of it. It's like Evian water or something like that. <laughs> it's something like that, right? I forget the name of it. <clears throat> so we weren't doing shots at Jaeger. Ooh. What do you do when you're in a country where weed is legal? smoke weed, it's probably easier. <laughs> Shout out 
John Mulaney has that bit where he's like, hey, weed is legal now, finally. I mean, it's always been legal for us. I mean, I'm a white guy, so, like, I'm not going to jail for this shit. But, yeah, it's kind of true. Privileged ass has been smoking weed since I was 12. Yeah. I mean, I definitely got arrested for it, you know. That was a fun time. Freshman year. 14 years old. Man. <laughs> I was so stoned walking out of the bathroom that we had bike cops that had like guns and tasers and shit. It was, it was a whole thing. And they came up and he was like, sit the fuck down. And I sat on his tire on the bike. I was just high. I was like, I guess I'll just sit on the fucking tire. And he was like, get the fuck off the bike. Get on the fucking ground. They were, they were very aggressive and very pissed. Then they tried to make us sell out the guy that we got the weed from. Which, not doing that. So we just gave him a name of a kid we didn't like. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. But nothing happened. They didn't, like, go get this kid and, like, bring him in or anything like that. It was just, uh, I think they were just trying to make us sweat a little bit. It was weed. But at the time, Nevada was a zero-tolerance state. So if they found, like, a flake of weed, you were going to jail, you know? I was 14, and they are like, this is going to be on your record till you're, till you're 18. Like, okay. <laughs> I don't know, man. It is Fuck Yeah Friday, huh? Oh no, bike ran into you yesterday, I'm sorry. I'm glad you're here. Glad you survived it. Jeez. Jeez, dude. I need some water. What's up, my bros? Dude, I feel like, not to get too graphic, but this chair, as comfy as it is, it pushes my legs together, and it's kind of hurting that area a little bit. It's like making it tender. All right, enough said. That was too, TMI, too much information, you guys. That was a little too far. It's just like, come on, man. You're super sick, I'm sorry to hear that. Been there. Why am I wearing a coat inside? It's actually kind of cold in this venue, not gonna lie. We out here in Smashville. Didn't know we got this cold out here, brother. Yeah, it's cold, man. Hello. Man, this chat's going right now. Are you at the show in Providence? Thanks for going, Ella. That's dope. Glad you had fun. Do I like Hawaiian pizza? Yeah, I love it. Um, I've mentioned it before, but Sarah came up with this combination from our pizza place back home that is just the best thing ever. It's so good. It's pepperoni, pineapple, and pepperoncinis. Dude, it's so good. That flavor combo is so good, man. It's my new favorite pizza. I don't know what to call it. It's just called the Sarah. <laughs> it's so amazing, though. Dude, we ate at this restaurant last night. It was so good. I love food. <laughs> I love eating food. No, it's not disgusting. It is delicious. Pineapple on pizza all day. Pineapple on most things. You ever had pineapple on a cheeseburger? Ooh. With some teriyaki sauce on it? Ooh. Boy. Come on. Dude, that reminds me. Danny Lo Priori has this bit. I think he put it on his Instagram. Where it's like, rappers with the worst ad-libs. <laughs> he does that part where he's like, and they're always out here messing with your boy. With a boy! <laughs> that part always makes me laugh so hard, man. He's such a like naturally funny guy. <gasps> yes, pineapple on a burger, see? Yes, on a cheeseburger, yes. I ain't joking, dude. It's so good. And with teriyaki sauce. Dude, that chain, the islands, that burger chain, they do that. And it's amazing. Come on, man. You're watching me in law class? Damn. Get that. Get that litigation. Pineapple on everything, dude. 
hundred percent. My boy Danny Lopes, and yeah, he's so funny, man. I watched a couple of his uh, basement yard with Joe. Is that his name? Sanagato. They're funny, man. They have some funny conversation. It's definitely like what what you know, me and my friends do. That's how you talk to each other, hypotheticals and dumb shit like that. And you just spiral down into a deep conversation. I love that shit. You got a food degree? You're in the culinary arts? Oh! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I bet it's super cold in Michigan. Aren't you getting snow over there? I always miss it. Every time we go to visit for holidays, I always miss it. Like, we don't ever get the snow. It's a bummer, man. We're there for, like, the extreme cold without the snow. <laughs> you lost your voice at the show? Oh, man, I'm sorry. I know how that feels. That sucks. <clears throat> Pineapple, dude, you're crazy. No way. Will I be gaming on this stream? Maybe not right now, because I'm going to have to leave in a little bit. I have... A couple things I do, but when I get back, maybe, if I have enough time, you know, I'll probably be back, like, at the earliest, like, 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 o'clock East Coast, so we'll see. <laughs> I do, I love Korean barbecue. I just love food, dude. I love trying out new stuff. I love just savory ass meals. If I had to pick one cuisine to eat every day, Mexican. It's my favorite. Mexican food. And that could be Baja, it could be Oaxacan, any of that shit. I, dude, Mexican food is my all time. And then right under that is Italian. All day. Every day. Just a bunch of carbs, man. And cheese. My favorite. <laughs> I'm gonna turn into a fucking piece of dough in five years because I eat so many carbs, man. <laughs> You're a picky eater? No, I'm I love Brazilian barbecue. Whoever mentioned that. I do. Dude, Brazilian steakhouses do it right, man. The way they like salt all the meat too, it's just like, what? Savory. I don't eat a lot of meat though, like red meat. I don't. I don't. <clears throat> Yo, I love eating these food too. Between pho and like a banh mi, oh man. A pork belly banh mi? Get out of here, dude. It's the best. There's a place in New York called Num Pong, Num Peng. Dude, that was the first banh mi I ever had in my life, and it changed me. I feel changed. <laughs> At that moment, I felt changed. You know? Oh, I like Shake Shack. I love Shake Shack. It's delicious. Yo, I've said it a million times. Pineapple on pizza. All day. Any day. Every day. Love Greek food. Mm. Tzatziki? Dude, let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my god, dude. I'm, I'm sorry, but this chair is like... It's a comfy chair. It's just like... Maybe it's these jeans, dude. I gotta... It's like pushing my legs together. It's not a comfortable situation right now. I gotta figure this out. Is like pushing me forward or something? I don't know. Oh man. Burritos. I actually I don't, probably don't eat burritos that much. I'm more of a taco guy. I'm, I make a killer nacho. I make a killer plate of nachos, man. Put sour cream in a in a snack size Ziploc bag. That way you can actually pour it over the nachos. Cut the little tip out of the corner of it.
why don't I wear contacts? That would just annoy the shit out of me. And I don't need these to like see certain stuff. It's really mostly for computer and for driving at night. That's really what I need it for. Sushi, love sushi. Guys, I, I love food. Yeah, if I had contacts, I, mean, I think I would just be annoyed. I don't want to keep putting stuff in my eye every day, taking it out, putting it in, digging, you know what I mean? Just annoying. This is easy. Look, I can go to bed. The short answer is I'm lazy. I've said this a million times. I'm very lazy. I'd rather work smart than hard. <laughs> That's so stupid. What a dad thing to say. Wow. Full dad. <clears throat> You're trying to Shazam the song? I'll just tell you what it is. I mean, the one playing right now uh, is called No Mind by Flofils. F L O F I L Z. One word. Cool. The one before that was, was the artist is called Ginseng. J I N S A N G. Good stuff. I've not tried Hungarian food. What's it like? Probably really starchy and a lot of cabbage. I don't know why I just assume that. Probably just because it's like Eastern Bloc, like Europe, you know. Is there any food I don't like? I mean, there's a couple things. I don't like split pea soup. It's like every time I was sick when I was a kid, my parents would make split pea soup and I'd just makes me nauseous to smell it like the ham and the peas I don't know man I don't know man not into it have I tried Irish food? yeah dude I love a shepherd's pie and all that shit um, I don't know if that counts as Irish or is it's just English I don't know man LASIK is the real answer? I don't know about that, dude. That freaks me out. A laser in your eye? Really? Nah, man. I'm not about it, dude. That seems so strange. Kind of freaks me out a little bit. No, I'll, I'll glasses gang till I die. Oh, yeah, my wife fixed my uh, pinky ring. She had it fixed for me. It's awesome. So now... Now I got it. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm tired, man. We partied yesterday. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I'm facing away from the mic. Sorry. That's uh. That's what's happening. I probably should have put the chat over on this side. Actually, you know what? I can just do that right here. Yeah, that way I'll just be like this. God. Yeah, I love these. All of these are wife-oriented rings, obviously. This is the first one she ever got me, and we bought this one together. So yeah, all of them remind me of Sarah. That's why I wear them. Do I still talk to my siblings? I talk to all my family. I'm very close to my family. Don't fucking worry about it. I like Ari's song Seven Rings. Yeah, I love Ariana Grande, dude. I think she's super uber talented. Yo, what up? Gotta go rescue your mom. Good luck. Have a nice day. We're all counting on you. <clears throat> when do I go back to LA? When the tour's done. And I only get a few days home, and then we gotta prep for, uh, European and UK tour. So. Yo, yo, yo. Do you like GB food? Is that Great Britain? Do you like British food? Uh, I fuck with your baking, your pastries. I don't fuck with a lot of the other food, though, I guess. So there you go, there's a cuisine that I don't eat a lot of. 
But no, like I love like a shepherd's pie or like a meat pie, dude. Like I love that shit. Come on. Beef Wellington, that's English. Love that shit. Meat inside of a fucking pastry? What? Come on. Do I like Australian food? What is Australian food? Like Vegemite? I don't fuck with Vegemite. But uh, I don't know what else would be considered Australian food. Isn't it derivative of English food? Or no? <clears throat> oh my god, you guys. I'm so tired. <laughs> Beer and cheese in Wisconsin, 100%. You guys ever been to that website cheeseandburgersociety.com? Let's see if it's still up, dude. I hope so. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's still here. Dude. Cheeseandburger.com. The Cheese and Burger Society. Dude. <laughs> this was the best. And I think Patrick Warburton narrates the cheeseburgers. It used to be. Hold on a second. I gotta show you guys this fucking website. <laughs> you wanna see some fucking... <laughs> Look at this, dude. Literally, I thought that he narrated it. I really thought he narrated it. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Yeah, I swear to God it used to be Patrick Warburton. You know, uh, uh, you guys know him from fucking everything, but, you know, David Putty from Seinfeld, he's just awesome dude, but, dude, Spencer and I used to go to this website every day and get ideas for new cheeseburgers. That's not a joke. That's 100% true. The Miss Daisy. They even tell you how to make it? Bro. Come on. Get out of here. The Aunt Millie. It was so much better when he... Wait, how come it's not... That sucks, man. It was better when he narrated it. Oh, they've added some. Oh, the Brooklyn. There's pastrami on a burger with sauerkraut? Dude, what? Y'all crazy. Ooh, that looks good. Is that like Capicola in that? What is that? Oh, man. Pepperoni. <sighs> Get out of here, dude. Like, this is making me so hungry. <laughs> I'm such a little fat kid. Dude, I love it. What is this? The Atlanta. Let's see what the Seattle is. Okay, okay. Ooh, that looks like my kind of burger, dude. Avocado on that piece? You guys. Uh, you got yeah, you gotta show this to your friends. Uh, you don't mind? Well, yeah, you're vegan. Sorry. Not sorry. Love a good burger. I mean, you could do it with an impossible burger. It doesn't have to be a beef patty. Just replace it. 100%. Uh, you couldn't do the shrimp, though. Dude, this... What? What kind of cheese is that? Gruyere? What is that? It is Gruyere cheese. I know my cheeses, dude. Oh. Wisconsin brick cheddar, dude? Is that what's on this? Wisconsin brick. You guys. <laughs> this is making me so hungry. Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> Stupid. That's so good. But yeah, it was way better when uh, Patrick Warburton narrated it. Because he would literally read off the thing about the burger, and it was great. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Like, it's gotta be there, dude. Wow, 
did they take that off? But he like, because he spent time and recorded audio for every single burger. Why would they take that off? It ticks me off, dude. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Alright, I'm done. Okay, that's funny. Um, how do we find that website? I don't remember, dude. Spencer, probably. I mean, Spencer showed it to me. I don't know how he found it, though. This was like nine years ago. We found that website. It's crazy, man. <laughs> it's crazy. What nationality am I? American. American. You mean like my heritage? I'm just a mutt. I did that 23 in me. I could probably read some stuff off. I haven't opened it in a year, probably, but let's see. Let's see if it still recognizes my phone. What's happening? Let me sign in, you jerk. Oh, it's saved. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 that didn't work, fuck you, dude. Really? Let me sign in. It forgot my. Wait, what? Let's go to the website real quick. Pay money for this shit, dude. Dude, I'm getting pissed, dude. Alright. Oh, what would that be? Would it just be that? No, it wasn't like that. Caps lock is off. Oh, that was it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. British and Irish, French and German, Filipino and Austronesian, Scandinavian, broadly Melanesian, Spanish and Portuguese, Vietnamese, Native American, Sardinian. There's a bunch. I'm just a mutt, apparently. So, 
Let's look at it in detail. Let's see my British Irish roots. Because I'm mostly white, obviously. 56.8% of your ancestry is British and Irish. There you go. Mm -hmm. In the last 200 years, your ancestors may have lived in the following locations. United Kingdom, Ireland, Glasgow. It's very strong in Scotland. So my Irish ancestors were fucking it up in Scotland, dude. Scotland. Let's see my French and German. I think I'm Bosque. You guys know what that is? Wow. Well, up in the Netherlands, dude. North Holland. Yeah. 12.5%. FNA cotton. Filipino and Austronesian. Let's see what this is. <laughs> Five point seven percent Filipino. There you go. Yep. Some island. Some island shit. That's cool. Let's see the Scandinavian. That's probably the least. Said the Native American. Two point eight percent Scandinavian. That's why I don't like cold, dude. It's so crazy, like, all this stuff that you learn, supposedly. Um, I did check Scandinavian. 0.7 of your ancestry is Spanish and Portuguese. 0.7, not even a full percent. There's some Portuguese. Sobre mesa. Eh, that's nice. I like that. That's what I do. Sobre mesa. Some Vietnamese. What are the other shit that you find? Like Neanderthal ancestry. Let's see what this is. Sobre mesa. Yeah, yeah. Um, 256 Neanderthal variants. I don't even know what that means. This is less than 75% of 23andMe customers. What does that mean? Your Neanderthal ancestry accounts for less than 4% of your overall DNA. I'm in first place out of my family and friends? Out for what? I'm the highest in 23 and me. 397 variants. So I'm just more like a caveman? <laughs> that sounds about right. Oh, it just means I have less back hair and straighter hair. Okay, that's true. I don't have a hairy back, luckily. I, w I would have Sarah shave it if I did. That would be that would be so annoying. I'm so glad I'm not like a hairy hairy dude. Yikes. Oh, not now. So where do you like learn? Oh, there's like DNA relatives and shit. Parental inheritance, DNA painting. Find out what you're made of. Oh yeah, it just tells you all right here. You got 1.2% Melanesian, 1% uh, Western Asian and North African. I'm black? Eight point one percent East Asian and Native American. Okay. Okay. Southeast Asian is two percent. That's crazy. So that's yeah, like islands, like the fucking island, islanders, dude. Yeah, 89% European, obviously. It's cool though. It's cool though. Cool though. Those are the lyrics, right? Um. Yeah, Zach came in to tell me in like eight minutes I have a, a thing I have to go do. That shouldn't take too long, and then um, I'll be back. So I guess I could just leave the music playing and put it on Be Right Back. You know this thing. Just testing it.
But, uh, dude, I love this Stream Deck thing. It's so cool. You guys know about this? Little device. It's like how I'm switching the thing so you guys don't have to see all the screens and everything. It's pretty dope. Like it. I'm from all around the world. Statues grown for me. Yeah, there's uh, your 99% panic thing, 1% Dutch. I appreciate that. Very cool. Yeah, I gotta leave just for a second. I gotta go do a thing and then I'll be back. But, yeah. Cool though. <laughs> your girlfriend loves me. Well, thank you. I love both of you. Thank you for telling me. Cool dad. Yeah, right? Turn it off so it'll notificate you. What? I don't get it. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Uh, yeah, I'm not leaving yet, but I will have to in uh, a couple minutes, so. Uh, today's Fuck Yeah Friday. It is, isn't it? <laughs> What's up? What vocal warm ups do I do? I do a tongue pull. Learned it on uh, Broadway. Learned it from this woman named Katie Agresta, who is awesome. And uh, I still do those every day. One Between one and two uh, exercises. And they're about 25 minutes a piece. So, you know, yeah, tongue pull. You have to get paper towel, hold the tip of your tongue and pull it out of your mouth while you're doing gee gee gee, hee hee hee, hung yee hee, like different vocalizations and stuff it helps man I can't explain it it's just like the way she told me is your tongue is the strongest muscle one of the strongest muscles if not the strongest muscle in your body and it's hard to train it you know because it's so strong and it wants to pull itself in any direction so you have to loosen it up you have to train it to kind of take some distance away from your vocal cords so that the air is able to pass it's a whole bunch of things with it Yeah, seems like a torture method. No, no, no. It doesn't hurt. If your if your tongue is hurting, you're doing it wrong. You just want to hold it out of your mouth. You know, it's fairly strong. You don't have to like pull the thing hard. You know. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, as I get older, my voice is obviously going to keep changing. Uh, so, I'm sure there will come a time where maybe the notes don't go so high, or you know, I'm dropping songs even more. I don't know. I usually drop a song no more than like a, a step down, a full step down. But uh, it does save me. Because like in the studio, it's fine. I can retrack a vocal and sing it at a higher range. But on tour, it just like wears me down, you know? Plus, like an asshole, we've always had just way too many lyrics in the songs, way too many melodies. It's chock full of them. I barely have time to breathe. So that doesn't, you know, help. It definitely adds to it. Uh, but yeah, either way, man, I'm just always trying to take care of it. The more it hurts to practice, the better you get at singing? Absolutely not. But you have to have some, like you have to use your full voice and not go falsetto, because falsetto protects your voice, but then you don't correct the things that are blocking your range, you know? I don't know, dude. I'm not the, the fucking vocal coach. This is just the things I was told. Hey. I sing like a goat. My vibrato is queer. Huh? Like a goat. Greatest of all time. A potato flew around my room the other day. You guys remember that vine? <laughs> I just thought about that this morning. I don't even know why. Sometimes old vines will just pop up in my head. Or like old YouTube videos or Instagram. Happens, dude. Happens. Um, oh my god, I need this haircut. I need this haircut. Should I or should I just grow this fucking stupid thing out? Am I sitting in a bathroom again? It's a little nicer today, because this place, I think they've... They knew what they were doing, you know? They knew that they wanted to have uh, musicians play here, but... No, this is actually a nicer dressing room. 
bathroom is, has a door to it, which is nice. The one in uh, Charlottesville did not have a door to it. It was just open. Oh, man. No, I just, I, I get annoyed with the sides. Like, they grow out, and it just annoys me. It's, like, poofy. I don't like it. Um, how does this chat work? You got me, dude. I don't know. Oh, saw down. Saw down. Still alive, bro? Yeah, bro. Just hanging. Get out of here. Boring. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Hola, chat. What's up? This microphone, though. Does it? <laughs> I'll see. I'll open up Twitch. Look at my own channel. Shameless. Let's see. Oh, it says I'm live. <laughs> cool. Yeah? Is it better now? Sick. Yeah. There's a thing we gotta do. Wait, what the f Oh. I want to hear the sound. Oh my god, it's so much yeah, better. It's so much better. Like an actual microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of the webcam. Oh, and the music is playing. Alright. Alright, cool. Yeah, it does sound much better. I'm glad. I'm glad. You'll love to see it. Well, we have exactly 4,000 viewers right now. Whoa. Sick. I uh, just dropped 3,982 <laughs> viewers. Sick. What's that thing in my ear? What are you talking about? Is it a bug? Did you see a bug in my ear? Uh... Yo, what up? Oh, saw dog. I saw dog. Oh, somebody wanted me to tell you that they love you, Jake. I L U S M. I L Y S M. I am leaving. Whenever Zach gets back, I have to go. So I might just cut the stream, honestly, and then come back later because I'm probably going to be gone for a minute. I got to go do an interview and a couple other things. And then I got to get my hair trimmed, so. That shouldn't take long, though. Just getting the back and sides, like my neck, my back, my pussy, and my crack. Getting awkward. Just shaving. <laughs> it's going to take a bit to my sides. <laughs> Did that before. Yikes. Do I get nervous on the piano or the death block? No. Not nervous. Excited. Um, it gets a little crazy sometimes, though. The crowd close in, but not for the most part, we're solid. We out here. We come to your concerts to have fun, not judge your voice. Oh, <laughs> well, that's good to know. Yay. Do I enjoy these live streams? Yeah, the only reason I do it. I'm selfish, you guys, and lazy. I only do stuff that I enjoy doing. Compromise. <laughs> A potato flew around my room. <laughs> Am I sick right now? No, but I, I feel weird. Like, I'm not sick, but this feels like a little strange. So I'm going to work at that today. Definitely gonna have to work on this. Do I stalk fan accounts on Insta? No, I see the stuff you guys post because you guys tag me in fucking everything, but no, other than that, no. Stock? I probably should. <laughs> hey, what up, Shark Dog? How's the venue catering today? Bomb, dude. Got some honey garlic chicken. <clears throat> My voice is so low? Nah. 
not, dude. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, dog, do 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 do. Baby shark, dog, baby shark. Mommy shark, oh sawder. I should have got that skin. I don't think I have the shark skin. Did anyone lick my hand again? Oh, during the death walk? No, but someone kissed it in the last show. I wasn't mad, I was just like, oh, you know, no thanks. Please don't. <laughs> Uh-oh. My chat bros. Uh-oh, the chat bros. Oh, there it goes. Whoa. Yikes. That was weird. Grandpa Disco. <laughs> my neck, my back, nick my boots and my crap. So get it, fuck it up, look at it, fuck it up, suck it up, fuck it up. Yeah, it froze. I don't know what that was. Sorry about that. Uh, I look tired. I'm a little tired. I look sad. I'm not sad. I'm tired though. Am I gonna play inside? Uh, I might go back into that. I wanted to play Resident Evil 7 though. So those of you that have never seen the game can see just how scary a game can be. How demented. Yeah, man. You don't even say be right back. Well, who fucking cares, man? Do you even lift, bro? I do not lift. I never did, like, weight training or anything. The only stuff I ever did was push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups. My brothers, when I was growing up, taught me the diamond cutters. Even those push-ups, man, those are crazy. But every, all the push-ups I do are like military press. But they're not super wide. And I never really understood this, like that super wide one. I guess you're just working out different parts of your body, but um, yeah. <clears throat> Fortnite with drunk Jake yesterday was the best thing I've ever watched. Yo, we had fun. We were all pretty toasty. Yo, what's up? Well, what's up, I guess? Oh, a little suck, dude? <laughs> Je vous aime, mes bro. I love you so much, my bro. Oh, is that in French? Je vous aime, mes bro. Is that how you say it? Dude, I'm so bad. And French is such a beautiful language. I feel bad for even attempting it. I got you sick through the monitor. Fucking lies. What sticks do you use to play drums? Uh, Vic Firth HD9s. The first Vic Firths I ever got, I used to play all the time. They were super light. They're called SD4s. They were super lightweight. Uh, but they would break all the time. So I had to start playing like 5Bs. Like the marching snare sticks. You know, they're thick. They're just really heavy. So it was 2Bs, 5Bs. Yeah, I like Vic Firth. Uh-oh. I think I have to go. Alright. Peace out, y'all. I'll see you uh, when I come back. Bye.